to the NBA and the ESPN Summer Forecast, which has the Lakers winning the West, the Nets winning the East, and then winning the title over the Lakers. As we bring back Kendrick Perkins, unfortunately, and Zach Lowe, I'll start with you, Zach. What's the biggest obstacle for the Nets' title chances next season? Whoa, whoa. Back up, dude. Back up from the camera. I agree with ESPN. I agree with Vegas. The Nets are overwhelming favorites to win the title. We've seen what their big three can do when they're all together. They're completely unguardable. In the playoffs, they defended well enough to win a championship. I think they got better in the offseason. As far as their obstacles, I think it goes like this. Health is number one. That's for everybody. But if one of those guys gets hurt, we saw it last year. Two of them got hurt. It's a game changer. And then the Lakers and the Bucks are both really, really good. If they coalesce earlier or better or on a deeper level than we expect, could they upset the Nets? Absolutely. You're talking about LeBron James and Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook and then Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, and Giannis. Two big threes. One just won the title. But to me, if the Nets are healthy, I will be surprised if they don't win the title. That's just bad. <laughs> Overwhelming, Zach. Overwhelming. And then you talk about the big three. The, si the sample size that we got of the big three is the same size as you, and that's small. We didn't get a chance to see them over a, a long period of time to see if they could actually make it work for over 20-plus games. And on top of that, we know LeBron James is going to come back on a different level. Russell Westbrook really has the most to prove in the NBA. Anthony Davis, he, look, he's not feeling, I said this time and time again, he's not feeling all this Giannis getting these props and things to that nature. So Anthony Davis is going to come back on the mission as well. You got Carmelo Anthony, who has a chip on their shoulder. We just talked about this on this show about their wisdom. We talked about their veteran leadership in a seven-game series, what is going to help them get through. And Carmelo Anthony talked about it. They got more wisdom. They got a better IQ. Along with having talent and all those Hall of Famers, the Lakers are going to win the championship. Now, look, now, now look Per, I, I, I'm with you. I, I get it. Players don't like it. There, there's a competitiveness about all of us. And, 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 look, Anthony Davis is an NBA champion. There is no disrespect. But when you start saying Anthony Davis ain't really feeling all these accolades that, that uh, Giannis is getting – well, then do something about it. That, that's at the end of the day. Do something. Well, you're going to tell me you're going to do something. Well, you know, that's don't tell me what you're going to do. Show me what you're going to do in this moment right here because Giannis has earned every single thing. Back-to-back -back MVP I defense. I understand that, but then I don't just – I'm just not going to just let you just say that Anthony Davis is going to raise his game because somebody else is getting the awards that he wants. Well – Giannis nope. is outplaying him in every I, single I situation, did, so like I, he shouldn't I, I be did. upset about it. First of all, first of all, Richard, watch your tone. That's first thing first. I told you, every time you throw on the tie, you start feeling yourself. Second of all, I never once said nothing about Giannis Awards. I said all the recognition that he's getting from the outside, the fan base, the media. Recognition meaning his props, people saying how he's better than AD. That's different from him deserving of awards. I didn't say he didn't well, deserve is, the Is Giannis better than AD? Relax. I'm not going down that road. All I'm telling you is, is this. Anthony Davis, we witnessed him two years ago when healthy. Witnessed him. We were sitting up here talking about him arguably being the best player in the NBA. We know he's more skilled than Giannis. We know he has the capability to do the same exact thing that Giannis does on the defensive side of things. And Anthony Davis is only a year older than Giannis Antetokounmpo. So at the end of the day, all I'm saying is when we talk about the Brooklyn Nets and the Los Angeles Lakers, I'm saying that Anthony Davis is going to be the deciding factor because he's going to come back with a chip on his shoulder. That's what I'm telling you, Richard. Okay. All right. I gotta address. I gotta address perk like the numbers on a house or whatever the perk yeah. is about addressing people is. Yeah, that's if what I'm talking about. If the sample size for the net, if the nets sample size for the nets big big three is small like me. By the way, I'm five eleven and three quarters, and I round up to six feet. I'm not that small. The sample size for the Lakers' big three is zero. We have seen them play zero minutes together. So if you're going to throw the sample size argument at me, I'm throwing it right back at you. Now, I will give you this. I will give you this. Kyrie, Durant, Harden have more injury questions about them than I think Russ 
LeBron and AD do, particularly that Harden hamstring thing scares me a little bit, given that he's on now on the wrong age of 30 with a lot of minutes under his belt. But I don't think the gap is as big as it would have been a couple years ago. We're talking about you can ascribe it to flukes and Solomon Hill diving into his ankle or whatever. But we're talking two of the last three years, LeBron has gotten derailed by injury. AD's been mostly healthy the last few years until the playoffs last year, but he's had some injury issues. Russ has had a bunch of knee issues. I just don't think the injury well, questions apply only to Brooklyn. I think it, they apply to everybody, including the Lakers. Well, I, look, well I'm Zach, just, you that, lucky we have to go to break because I was about to read you your rights. Well, well look, at the end of the day, Zach, I'm glad you're here. It's good to have one adult on this panel. But Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.